prayer is hinged on relationship you you, you you've got to, because he is your father he is your daddy he is, 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 he's not just God. You see, he was known as God throughout the Old Testament. But when we came into the New Testament, on, at, this is the moment. This is a watershed moment. This is a game-changing moment. We are actually having a peek into today when Jesus shifts the goalposts and he moves the relationship from him just being God, from him just being the God of Isaac, the God of, 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 of Abraham, and the God of Jacob, to him being our Father. Amen. I don't have time to go into all of it. But the word Father, it's a Hebrew word that it's not just Abba, but the, the, the real Aramaic word is Abtu or Abwun which means not just father but source or origin so jesus was teaching them that from the moment you say our father Abun, you were actually recognizing that you have a source you have an origin you have a connection there is somebody bigger than you and i the prayer is not to ourselves. The prayer is not to another person or another thing. But the prayer is to God himself. And so prayer not only recognizes God as the source or origin. But prayer is directed upward. Prayer is not to your boss. Prayer is not to your husband or your wife, your spouse, your significant other. Prayer is not to the neighbor or your friend yes we ask them for favors but when we engage in prayer prayer is conversation with god and prayer must address god it's directed upward